In this video, we're going to talk about why I like the nickel 335 wheel. I think it might be the most uh, universal defense, a defense that can actually help you in a lot of different areas. We're going to show you how to use it as a contained defense against bunch tight end, as well as one of the best coverage defenses uh, against the bunch tight end formation. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that I release every single day here on the YouTube channel. I also want to take a quick second and let you know about our Patreon membership. If you've not joined the Patreon, Patreon yet, I would ask you to go ahead and consider doing that. For just $10 a month, you're going to unlock all of my Madden 22 products, all my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks, exclusive updates pretty much each week to those, as well as pro player breakdowns, private messaging platform where you can get your questions answered, and much, much more. So if you want to join the Patreon, again, it's only $10. We've got 15 offensive and defensive guides available as soon as you join it. This nickel 335 will is one of those, as well as a massive, massive Massive amount of content. I think the most amount of content that has ever been produced on match defense, how it works, how to adjust it, how to adapt it, formation to formation. So if you want to learn all that, again, join the Patreon. It's just ten dollars. I'm going to put a link to it in the description. Okay, guys, let's talk a little bit about PA boot over and why uh, it is so dang hard to stop. And we're also going to talk about uh, cover a couple of different coverages. So we're going to use uh, cover four. Uh, Palms is going to be kind of our base call, and then we have cover six. Uh, we have uh, cover six, cover four quarters, uh, and then I would definitely want to have the cover three match, uh, whether it be the cover three buzz match or just the standard uh, cover three match is up to you. And then lastly, you might want to put just a basic cover three call in there um, or uh, some type of man coverage like the cover one hole uh, is also is another one I really like or you could also go with this uh, if I can find it here cover one robber so any of those I like the cover one hole personally but anyways let's jump into this and come out in the cover four palms that's our number one play call now what we're gonna do with this if you take a look at the alignment of this if I were to show blitz you're gonna notice real quick on the left we're gonna get a misalignment on the left side so what we want to do to kind of solve that is we want to go ahead and manually press him. But we do want to show go ahead and show blitz because it puts this safety in a really, really good position for us to be able to send some pressure. So we're going to go ahead and show blitz, and we're going to blitz our safety. We're going to QB contain, and then we're going to slide him kind of off the edge just like that. So you see here, this is what the play looks like. You want the safety, ideally, to be in a contain. Okay, and then last uh, little piece of this is we're going to go ahead and blitz our user, of course. So we're going to blitz our user right in here. And then really important, um, this guy, this defender, on this is what makes it so dang good. This guy right here can be a linebacker, so we can actually man him up to help kind of alleviate some of the problems that can be found in these formations. For example, uh, one of those being that uh, he can man up on any wide receiver. So I like to man him up onto the circle receiver just to help us in terms of overall um, overall coverage on him. And then lastly, uh, we're going to drop the defensive tackle on the left side of the screen into a three red hook. He's going to serve kind of as a spy as well as just a standard three red hook zone uh, on the field. Now, you're not going to have any problem as far as like run defense or anything. You're still going to be fine with that. Um, you're just going to, again, need to be using this guy right here. And what you're going to notice here is if I were to set up my, uh, my little rollout, play i'm gonna have good contain i'm gonna run right into it and then i've also got great coverage because of the way that the cover four palms works now also i wanted to say something real quick if you were to man align your cover four palms i want you to notice something if you man align your cover four palms is actually not a bad idea against this in particular formation if you're not wanting to necessarily send pressure to get edge contain you might consider doing this and here's why you're going to get a plus one advantage to the left side of the screen that allows us then to just simply blitz these four guys here and then take that linebacker and drop him into the three rack or the bluff blitz and then man up with the corner that is going to be on that side the only reason i'm suggesting that is because you're still going to be able to contain rush off of the edge um, if you want to they will have a little bit better chance of being able to get out of the pocket but you will have significantly better coverage just in terms of overall how the play is going to work you're going to see they are going to still get that double team though but you do notice that we are able to kind of get around it and, and get in and make a play so kind of two ways to kind of combat this or two ways to kind of approach this 
Um, and the next thing that I wanted to kind of pe or uh, just uh, hit on real quick is a man variation of this. So if we were to go to this man coverage, cover one hole, and we were to show blitz, you're going to see here that this is actually going to be a really good coverage. Um, again, we like to individually press that outside guy so that he gets aligned properly. But what we can do is same, similar, right? We can still take this guy off the edge and send some pressure. He just happens to be the corner now. Okay, so as you can see here, we're going to blitz him off the edge, get him into a contained type of area. And then what I like to do is take this middle linebacker and man him up on the tight end. And I'm actually not going to man anybody up on the running back. I'm going to kind of shadow him myself. And the reason why is because if I don't man up anyone on the tight end, let's say that they run a route combination that looks kind of like this. Or if I don't want to man up anyone on the running back, they're going to block their tight end. Because, again, the whole basis of bunch tight end is we want to roll out every single play. Well, now what you're going to notice is we're still going to get man coverage. They're going to get a little swap off. And as you see, your blitz is still going to be very, very effective. So that's a way that you can kind of get some coverage without necessarily having to do a lot to get to it. Okay. Um, and then lastly, one more thing out of this cover four uh, that I wanted to showcase. And that is because of this blitz uh, safety over here, what this allows is it allows, again, better contain. Okay. So that's kind of piece A. You're going to get much better contain with this safety. The other thing that you're going to be able to do with this is I would go ahead and bring this guy down and then I would bring this guy down because it's going to deter the run. You're going to have a better box count for the run. And then, of course, blitz your user and then go through. And if you don't want to man up anyone individually, you honestly don't have to. You're still going to be okay coverage-wise. You'll be fine. Um, but what I wanted to showcase with this is a um, kind of a variation of something that they might do once they start to feel the pressure. They might go to something like this. And I want you to watch this corner on the right. You're going to see that he is going to basically lock onto that tight end, whether he's on a post, a curl, a corner, it doesn't matter. That's one of the number one reasons why I like cover four palms most when defending bunch tight end because you're able to get that that kind of bracketing coverage. And the other thing about it is that it's really good for the crosser out of boot over. So again, let me show you this real quick. So again, you're moving this guy down, of course, and then you're here. Now your lurk, obviously you're gonna use or kind of the middle field, look to the crossers, that's kind of your primary lurk. But if you take a look at this, what you're gonna also notice within this defense is if I just run PA boot over, I can't, I can't roll out, I gotta stay here. And then if I throw this, look at that, that corner is right there. So it leaves us with a read that we might not necessarily want to make, which is, and you don't have to, like if you don't want to, you can actually go ahead and back this guy up. I actually think that's not a bad idea um, just because of the way bunch tight end works and the way that the box check works out of palms on that side. Um, but what I do want to show, um, one other thing I do want to show though uh, is the, uh, the ability that you have within this coverage to still be able to hang with this post. Now, a lot of people are going to say, well, the post is open. It, it looks open, but he's going to target on it pretty well. If you have a fast corner there, he's going to be fine. If you're really worried about the post route, like if you're really, really worried about the post route, all you need to do is take this defender and back him up a little bit. Or just, man, you know, or you could do what I just did where I kind of manually backed him up. If he's, because what's going to happen is he's going to do kind of a false step. It's just one of the things. Uh, with this with this play I don't know why um, but I think it's just because they're trying to recognize the route but notice here see see how if you back him up you're gonna be in a little bit better of a spot in terms of how you're gonna defend the post if you just show blitz the problem is he's so misaligned over there that it makes it hard and you're taking away the inside quarter which would be the help defender and that's why you'll see you know if you're not careful you'll get that right there so that's why you need to make sure that a couple different options you can either just man him up you could of course if you want to um, um, if you want to you could just you could just not blitz this guy and that'd be fine too because um, maybe you blitz him and you know they're starting to recognize they can't do that um, another thing you could do is man him up with the linebacker here if you got a fast linebacker that you could put right there you could put him in man coverage there and he'd be fine because he's just gonna can it's just gonna hang with the route um, but the best thing I like to do is just back this guy up if you just back him up typically it's gonna take away the bomb and I'll show you here I'm just gonna try to throw this post and you see he's able to run it down and make the play so this is probably my favorite bunch tight end defense. 335 Will is a defense that I love because it's multifaceted. It gives you the ability to give the pressure um, looks with this nickel corner here 
And then of course with this safety here, I think that's really, really good. Um, so you can kind of have some really, really good edge pressure uh, within this defense. But then it also at the same time of doing that, it also still gives you an incredible ability to play cover four palms, cover six, uh, cover four quarters, all of those defenses that we really like out of this, you're still gonna be able to do at a high level. And as you can see, I mean, this is just really, really good defense for what a lot of people wanna do at a bunch of tight end. It's also gonna be really good against a lot of the bomb concepts, the floods to the left side of the field, there's a lot of pros to cover four palms when we talk about how it works against a bunch of tight ends. So with that in mind, I wanna thank you for watching today's video. If you want to learn more about this defense, join the Patreon. It's only $10 a month and you get access to everything. We literally walk you step-by-step step through every single guide against almost every single major formation that you're gonna have to deal with, both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown. And again, if you're still watching and you wanna go check out the Patreon, there's a link in the description. So just head on down to the description below and click that link down there.